Mr. Fairfax, I can't tell you how honored I am to be a member of the hospital board. And I am going to do everything within my power to live up to that responsibility. Oh, please, sit down, Miss Lord. Oh. I'm afraid I have some very disappointing news. Oh, well, really, I didn't expect to be made the chairperson, but then, of course, once I've proven myself, I'm Your sorry. nomination has been denied. Denied? Believe me, I put your name forward with the utmost conviction. I twisted every available arm. You said this was almost automatic. You gave me your personal guarantee. Well, I was just as shocked as you were, but the board was adamant. I try as I could, I... Well, try a little harder. I mean, I practically gave you a small fortune this morning. Yes, yes, your donation was very generous. Yeah, you bet it was generous. Now, you could build a whole wing on this hospital with the money that I generously contributed, huh? And what did I ask for in return? All I wanted was to be a member of the hospital board. Is that asking too much? Well, not to me, but the others... I've never seen anything like it. Like what? Was it a, a close count? Is that it? Can you just recount everything? No, no, no. That, that, that wouldn't help. Look, when I nominated you at that meeting, I thought it would breeze through. But one of our board members got up and spoke vehemently against you. And who was that? I'm not at liberty to say. But one by one, the board members followed suit and voted against you. So, one member dissuaded the whole board. Well, obviously, it's some kind of personal vendetta, although I can't really imagine who on earth could possibly hate me that much that... Asa Buchanan. Are you telling me that I did not have one single ally on that board? Why? I mean, I haven't tangled with any of them except maybe Dorian. No, but you did tangle with someone near and dear to their hearts, Victoria Buchanan. Victoria was my sister. I was closer to her than anybody was. Yes, but committing her to a sanitarium is seizing her estate or property. Which I had a legal right to do. Well, that may be, but you're not going to win any popularity contests here in Landview. Now, when Asa finished, I got up and gave a very strong defense on your behalf. I was met with stony silence. I see. Look, I'm terribly sorry, Miss Lord. As chief of staff, I'll always think of you as a friend of the hospital, but as for sitting on the board, well... I want it back, Mr. Fairfax. I beg your pardon? My contribution. I want it back. Oh, but Miss Lord, there's... There's such a vital need. Look, this town is lousy with vital needs. Look, and I'm sure they are more than happy to accept me and my money. Will you check, please, Mr. Fairfax? As you wish. Miss Lord, please, won't you reconsider? We need that wing, whether you sit on the board or not. I don't care if you need the wing, the leg, or the whole turkey. You can get it from somebody else. And by the way, would you give Asa Buchanan a message for me? You tell him he may have won this round. But I guarantee you I'm going to win the next. That. Well, I'm just sorry I didn't get here sooner. I've just been so busy with land fair and everything, I didn't even realize you were in here. I hope the injuries aren't serious. Are no, they? no. The doctor says I'll be able to get out tomorrow afternoon. Oh, good. Good. Then it's all settled. What is? What's settled? Well, you're certainly not going to move back in with Asa, are you? <sighs> well, I don't know if I have another choice, Tina. Well, of course you do. You can move in with me. Oh, uh, no, no. I don't think so. Oh, you got a better offer? No, 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 Tina, it's not that. It's just... Well, what? I did, did Asa get down on his knees and beg your forgiveness? Asa? <laughs> down on his knees? Boy, I'd like to see that. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> what? Nothing. Look, it's just that you need a place to go to, and I have so much room at Landfair. Ah, oh, Tina, it's very, very generous of you, but no, I'm not going to put you out like that. It wouldn't be putting me out. It would be a help to me. It would. Well, sure. I mean, I have been spending all this time doing just this, this mammoth redecorating job at Landry. I spend my days looking at, at fabrics, at furniture, and everything like that. I could really use someone with, with an artist's sensibility, a painter's eye. <laughs> Such a nice compliment, but I'm afraid as an interior decorator, I don't have very much experience. Excuses. Now, do you want to get out of Ace's clutches, or don't Look, you? Look, I'm not minimizing the problems. I'm very hurt, and I'm very angry about how he treated me. Good, then come home with me. But I'm not going to give up, either. 
I came all this distance to make things work, and to quit now would be... Is common sense. Pamela, face it. Your marriage is finished. Like hell it is. Yes, the only one finished around here is you. Now get on your broom and take off. I don't take orders from you, unlike everybody else here. Fine, fine. Just disappear. Oh, you think you can hide behind, behind the closed doors of the hospital board, do you? Take a look at this man, Pamela. Really? This scheming, selfish tyrant has single-handedly kept this hospital from getting a brand new wing. Correction. I preserve the hospital's integrity. Take a look at her, Pamela. This little weasel try to take Clinton Vickie's money to buy prestige and class, which he will never possess. How dare you say that to me? I will say that and a lot more before I am done. Now, please stop it, both of you. If you both care so much about this hospital, then try to respect the rules and have your argument somewhere else. You're absolutely right, Pamela. I don't want to sink to his level, and neither should you. That's why my offer is still good. There is always room for you at Lanfair. As usual, Asa, it's been a thrill. <laughs>